In this video, we're going to talk about flushing the buffer. And I'm going to turn into a psychic for a minute. Hmm. I see in your future that at some point you're going to be writing a program where you're asking the, the user for various uh, forms of input. And then when you run the program, you're going to see that when you type in the input, suddenly it, it skips to the next question. You'll be you'll, you'll type the input for one question, you'll press enter, it'll go to the next question, but then it will immediately skip to the next question without giving the user a chance to type in any input. And the reason this happens, and I want you to think back on this, uh, this is really important to remember this, when you get to that error to say, oh yeah, that's right. He said this was going to happen. He predicted my future. This is like that one uh, lady on the Matrix, right? That's uh, the that tells him that uh, don't worry about the vase is with a vase anyway uh, anyway yeah that's me so let's uh, go ahead and create a Java program here was it a vase or a lamp I can't remember anyway public class flush the buffer fun public static void main string args okay so in this example I'm gonna get a few different pieces of input so going back to getting input we need to first import the java.util.scanner file and then we can build an instance of a scanner scanner in equals new scanner and then in parentheses system in we've attached the scanner to the system in to read in from the buffer and then I'm going to create a few different variables so let's uh, say I want to ask um, information about you as a student let's say okay so let's get the name first and I'll just set that equal to blank Okay, so that's the student name. Uh, let's get your, uh, let's get real nosy and get your GPA. Just set that to 0.0 initially. And then what other piece of information do we need? Let's uh, ask for your year in school. So I'm going to get another string, and this is going to be your year. Are you a, f a freshman or a sophomore or a junior or a senior, let's say. So I'm going to get those three pieces of information. So I'm just going to make a little comment here. Get uh, information from student. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and start reading that information in. So I'll system.out.println and say, please enter your name. Okay, so I've talked to the user using a printout statement. I'm now going to read in something from them. So I'll into the name variable I will set that equal to the in dot next line okay so I'm taking and reading in from the next line that's going to go in and be stored in my name variable and then I can system dot out dot print line uh, what is your GPA and then I'm gonna read that in so that's a double so I'll read it into the GPA variable I'll read it in using an in dot next double okay so go out to the buffer get the next double read it in and I'll store that in GPA okay then let's read in the year system dot out dot print line what year are you in school and then I'm going to read that in. Um, and set that equal to in dot next line. And let's try that much. Okay. So I'll go ahead and run this program. I need to save it first. I'll compile this program and then run it. And so it first asked me for my name, Spencer. What is your GPA? 
I'm so good, I'm actually a 4.1. That's how good I am. Okay, 4.1, and notice <laughs> the program just closed. I hit enter on that 4.1. It asked me, what year are you in school? And then it immediately closed. It didn't give me a chance to, to enter. And if I, after that, whoops, if I, after this question, print something, so system.out.println, and I say, print something, then we might see a little more obviously. Please enter your name, Spencer. What's your GPA? 4.1. And then it says, what year are you in school? And it immediately skips ahead. Well, this is something that can be very frustrating if you don't understand what's going on. And so that's why I wanted to point this out, that just get this in your mind for future programs. Um, so what happens is this. We're working with a buffer. and the way that we like to represent this is like a tube with like marbles coming out of it. So I draw it like this. Okay, so I asked the user, back to, move this over just a little bit. I asked the user, please enter your name. And they type in, I'm just gonna do S as the name. So I don't have to type or write so much with this. <laughs> mouse horrible way of doing things and then so I type in my name Spencer I'll just do s and then hit the enter key when I then do a next line it reads everything out of that buffer so the buffers clean so all of this goes out and and uh, the buffers clean it's clear there's nothing left in the buffer right and there's kind of a lid here. When I when I say next line, then that lid opens, and all of this comes spilling out. And then I have nothing left in the buffer after that lid, uh, and we close the lid again. Okay. So after I've done that, and then we have a clean buffer. We're back to a clean buffer, right? Well, then I say, what's the GPA, right? what's your GPA and I say 4.1 and then I type the enter key now every character that's going in there is an ASCII character and enter is an ASCII character okay so I've got the enter key after I've typed in 4.1 what I use here is a next double and so what that tells Java is go into the buffer and read out the next double. So what comes out is the double, 4.1, that's put into the GPA variable, and then we close the buffer. So this is no longer in there. The lid's closed, and what is still sitting in there? Well, there's still an enter stroke, an er enter character sitting out in the buffer. And so then I say, what year are you in school? And I say, next line. Well what's in the buffer when I open it back up is the enter stroke and so it's just as if the user presses the enter key there and that's why we skip ahead that's why we see that we, we ask the question here and then it just skips ahead to the next line because it thinks the user just pressed enter based on what was in the buffer so how do we fix that well the option that we have available to us is to say let's get everything out of the buffer whenever we go from reading in a number so whether it's a next int or a next double whenever we go in uh, go from reading a number to reading in an entire line we want to what we call flush the buffer or clear the buffer get everything out of the buffer so how do we clear the buffer how do we read everything out of the buffer well, we already know that we read everything out using a next line. And so what we do is this. We say in dot next line. Okay, in dot next line. Now, where are we reading it into? And the answer is nowhere. We don't care where it goes. We just want to get rid of it. I mean, if we were to read it in, what would we would get is an enter character sitting out in the in our text. But that's it. And so I notice I'm not setting this equal to anything. I just want it to spit it out get everything out of the buffer so that I have a clean buffer to, answer, to ask my next, next question. And again, when we do this is whenever we're going from reading in a number to reading in a line of text. Okay, so let's try this. 
All right, so please enter the name Spencer 4.1, and now it waits for me to answer the question. And then it will print something. Okay, so that is flushing the buffer. Keep that in mind whenever you see that phenomenon where it's just skipping ahead. And uh, it, when we should just get in good habit to every time we uh, go from reading in a, a number to reading in a line that we automatically flush the buffer. So there's not something in there. All right, very good. Spencer out.